Hello and welcome to tutorial for your channel. Today I will show you how to upload this ASP.NET website to PASP.NET hosting. So this is a demo website where you can perform a crude operation. You can create a data here. As you can see one record is inserted and this record is inserted in a database. Here is the database sample db and in that there is table user db. So if I click on select all, so you can see there is this data available here, inserted here. So as you can see the data is inserted here. So first of all we have to go to freeasphosting.net. So if you scroll down here is the login, you provide username and password but I will show you how to sign up in PASP hosting so this is the sign up page first you provide an email address then you provide a username make sure it is unique so and then you provide a password here which should be less than 15 character and then you copy this code down below so we click on sign up button so this is our dashboard it has redirected us to the dashboard and this is our domain you click on this and this is our domain all right so first of all we will make a database here we have to click on manage databases add database the database name and the user ID put that database will be exactly the same as your username then you have to provide a password here click OK so our database is created now we have to import our database from here but it has two requirements first it is mentioned here that it should be a big file and second requirement is that it should be of 2016 version it is not mentioned here but you can see here is SQL 2016 otherwise it will throw an error so I have already made a video where I have converted 2019 SQL server big file to 2016 SQL server big file so I will give the link in description of that video I already have a big file which is of 2016 version to upload that we have to go to my files click on upload browse and this is the big file tutorial for you dot big this is our version 2016 so I open it and it has uploaded in our file manager here now we have to go back and go to manage databases so now we can import a big file of 2016 version click ok so as you can see successfully imported from root and your big file name so our database is created and our big file is imported now what we will do we will connect this database to our local website and run our local website to see if everything is working correctly so we have to go to web config and 
scroll down till you find a connection string so this is the connection string I will show you how to make a connection string you can you can either remove this connection string or you can comment it and this will be the new connection string so you have to scroll right till you find data source so data source will be replaced with server s e r v e r server and this data source will be removed and this server name will be based here copy this copy and paste it here all right then you will find initial catalog replace this with database and then your database name which is this basically the username user ID and the database name is same so you can copy your user ID this is basically user ID and paste it here remove this sample DB which is my existing database name so now you have to remove this integrated security through to user ID make sure to have space between user ID and the user ID will be same exactly as database name all right and then you will have password is equal to whatever password you have provided there with the semicolon so I think my connection string is correct so let's just rerun this project and see if I, if I, this connection string is working connected but we go to user so as you can see there is no record but in our database there is a single record which we have inserted so that's when this application is now connected to our online server so now just what we have to do is to publish this application zip it and upload it at free ASP hosting so we can click on publish add a profile add a publish profile here click on folders next now you will have to give location where you want to save your application I will give it in desktop make a new folder and name it has publish click ok so as you can see the location is updated click finish so now publish profile is made but it's not published yet until we click on publish we have to stop the debugging for that so now it is publishing successfully published now we will navigate to the folder which is in desktop this is the folder publish and we will open this and then we will zip all of this file so we will rename this as project So as the file is ready now we will go back to our free ASP hosting and have to go to my files and you should delete this and now this time we will click on upload and unzip and we will browse to our zip 
folder which was in desktop publish project zip open so as you can see it is uploaded you can delete this project zip delete so let's navigate to our domain so as you can see our website is loaded let's just go to user so our user is also coming let's just create one record let's name this user name and password let's just create one record as you can see one record is created delete it you can also delete the record and that's when our website is published and it's working fine completely fine so if this tutorial help you upload your website to free asp hosting make sure to like this video and if you're interested in more content like this consider subscribing thank you for watching have a nice day